Good morning, Gators. I'm Nikita. And I'm Neva. And we're your hosts for this week's segment of Gator Vision. This week, we will be seeing an entertainment review, staff interview, high school sports, track and field, City, State, Nation, and an instructional video along with the game. Now on to City, State, and Nation. For City News, the Kansas City Royal season has recently started. They've reopened the Coffin Stadium to fans for the first time in 18 months. The capacity is limited to 10,000 fans in a pod-style seating arrangement. Due to COVID-19, the Royal Hall of Fame and outfield experience are closed, and they have increased the cleaning procedures. It is required for employees and guests to wear face masks. They hope that soon they can go back to a normal season, but they are very grateful for our season. For St. Louis, Missouri State University has recently announced that they are constructing a new $6.4 million amphitheater. This amphitheater will be the new location of their theater company, Tent Theater, which in the early 1960s they performed in a tent. The theater will be named after past student and famous Hollywood actor John Goodman, who has performed at Missouri State before. This exciting outdoor performing arts venue is set to debut in 2022. For Nation News, as universities are trying to get back to normal, some are starting to require students to be vaccinated before going on campus. At least 14 universities are enforcing that rule and the numbers are increasing. Rucker was amongst the first to announce that they would require the vaccine, along with Brown University, Cornell, Nova Southeastern Florida, and more. I'm Aubrey Bachelor with Gay Division. Moving on to track and high school sports. Welcome back to high school sports. After a good start to the season, the Blue Spring South Boys varsity baseball team are currently 7-4. This past Monday, they faced Lisa Met West and came out winning 5-2. We're all excited to see how South's season will turn out. At Blue Springs High School, the girls' varsity soccer team had a rough start to the season. After going 1-5, we hope to see them pull a victory against Lee Summit North next Tuesday. Good luck, girls! Here at Delta Woods, the boys' and girls' track season has started off well. Now for an inside look from a team member. How well do you think the team is performing this season? Um, we're doing pretty good. We've won all our meets. What made you want to do track? Um, I enjoy running. <laughs> and um, just to hang out with friends after school. I'm Eva Ermacher for Gator Vision. Now on to the staff interviews. Hey Gators, welcome to the segment of Gator Vision. Today we're going to be interviewing Officer King. Let's get started. What is up Gators? This is Officer King here with Gator Vision, special guest. And today we are going to be talking to you about me. Um, in high school, I got to drive really fast when I went on a ride along. And then I was like, that's cool, let's do it. So I did work out on the road as a city police officer, and I still do part-time. Um, but when I was in high school, we had uh, a couple kids that I was really good friends with that uh, dropped out and got into some situations. and. I realized that they didn't have anybody there to help them out. Uh, that, you know, family situations, officer school, all that. And so it just kind of sparked my interest, like, hey, somebody should be there for, for them. And maybe they would have made better choices. I absolutely enjoy seeing the kids, minus live. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I absolutely love seeing the kids. It, it's a blast. Well, see, I'm kind of a baller. Most of y'all don't know this about me. I'm kind of a baller. Hey, Chris, you, you can't cross me. Um, I'm going to break your ankles. Um, but anyway, no, I'm not really a baller. But uh, playing basketball is probably my favorite. You know, I was going to be a NASCAR driver, believe it or not, or like an Air Force pilot, one of the two. Uh, that didn't work out. I'm here now. It would be blue and orange, but we gotta set the record straight. It is not the Broncos blue and orange. Don't get that mixed up, all right? But you hear, you heard it here first, Gator Vision. Hope you enjoyed this segment of Gator Vision. Make sure to stop by and say hello to Officer King. I'm Madison Badler for Gator Vision. Now let's learn something new with an instructional video. Hey Gators! Earth Day is coming up and we thought a nice way to celebrate would be to tie-dye t-shirts. For this project, you will need a white shirt, a rack, some gloves, rubber bands, and tie-dye. For the first step, you'll need to lightly dampen the shirt. I recommend a spray bottle. Pinch the fabric and twist into a spiral as shown. Now tie together with the rubber bands. Next, apply the dye. 
feel free to be creative. Now put it in a bag and leave it for four to eight hours. Now take it out of the bag. Rinse it out with cool water until the water comes out clear. Wash the shirt by itself and let it dry. When you're done, you will come out with a cool earth-inspired tie-dye design. I'm Mia. I'm Laura. And I'm Liz for Gator Vision. Have, Have a great day, Gators! Now, on to the entertainment review. Releasing today is the MLB The Show 21. This baseball video game was created by San Diego Studio and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. This video game is available on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, X3S, and the Xbox One. The show is based off Major League Baseball, and the price is currently ranging from $59.99 to $99.99. Currently available at Target, GameStop, Best Buy, and Walmart, MLB The Show 21 rockets the franchise onto the next generation of video consoles with a huge range of improvements, enhancements, and optimization. That makes the show the ultimate Major League Baseball experience. Thousands of new animations, resolutory invasion on gameplay, and an all-new stadium creator let you own the show like never before. This has been Haley Kramer, Cameron Waters, Ella Medlin, and Lynn Generally for Gator Vision. For upcoming events, this school year is coming to an end very quickly. With only 33 school days left, this school year has flown by. Now to end off this episode of Gator Vision with a fun game. Hi Gators, in this week's game segment, you will be playing a game where you try to match the teacher to their self-portrait. You will have three seconds to guess the teacher. Good luck. We hope you enjoyed this week's segment of Gator Vision. See you guys next week.